So in exercise, some people have been described as non-responders who do not make the same progress as others. So you may follow the same program as your friend who is rapidly turning into the Hulk, yet you remain firmly as Captain No Gains. Now when picking a program, one of the issues is that research often reports the average change. For example, let's say a group of people gain 10% on their biceps. This could range from some people gaining nothing on their biceps to some people gaining 20%. So by understanding how much these results can vary, it allows you to make educated decisions on how best to adapt your routine. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. So when looking at into individual data, one study reported cross-sectional area changes ranging from minus 3% right up to plus 18%. Changes in maximum voluntary contraction range from plus 52% right down to minus 1%. In another study, very wide inter-individual variability was again observed in resistance training, endurance training, and concurrent training. Changes in maximum voluntary contraction range from plus 87% right down to minus 12%. So this suggests that your friend could gain size, strength, or cardiovascular fitness on a given program, but you could actually make no progress on the same program or even regress slightly. The big question is, what can we do about it? Now, interestingly, one study looked at changes in cardiorespiratory fitness with people who trained one, two, three, four, or five times a week. All of the non-responders from each of those groups then continued training with an additional two training sessions per week. And every single non-responder in phase one then made progress in phase two. So they weren't non-responders as such, they just didn't respond to that specific protocol. Likewise, in resistance training, one study identified people who had made no changes after 12 weeks, but then continued to improve when they trained up to 24 weeks. So it isn't a case of people being a non-responder to all forms of exercise. Sometimes it's just a case of them not responding to that specific program for that specific length of time. But maybe they would be better suited to a different modality. So to wrap this all up into a tidy little bundle, what are your take home messages? Well, very simply, a training program that works well for one person doesn't necessarily mean that it works well for you. So I believe it's a sensible approach to use the research we have to form the basis of your program, but doing it open-mindedly so you are not afraid to adapt your program to try and get better results for your own personal circumstances. So that's it, hope it's been helpful, thank you.